Hey guys, just uh, logging in here today and show you guys what all I've got done going on so far. I got the roof on, got the sides on, got all the siding on, got the doors up, got the windows up today. Um, and this here is my brown ale. It's been uh, sitting in a bottle for two weeks and it's pretty good. But I just wanted to come in and show you guys what's going on. Uh, like I said, I got four windows in today. I got the half loft up. I decided to go ahead and make it a half loft. I was going to make it a whole loft and an entire upstairs. But I decided to just do a half loft. And uh, I'm going to put a uh, sink right there. Or I might just put the stove right there underneath that window. That way when I'm cooking my or boiling my beer, the, uh, the fumes and exhaust will go out that window. And I'll put a sink, a shop sink, right there in the counter, right there. Um, I'll probably put some shelving over here in this corner, right behind the door area. Uh, I decided to go ahead and put a bathroom in here. So I'm going to put a bathroom over here in this corner. Mm. Oh, that brown ale is some pretty good stuff. Uh, Right here, I'm going to be making a, uh, a sound booth on this side. And over here underneath this window is probably where my desk is going to be at because it's closest to my internet from my home. Since this is probably close to 200 feet away from my house, I can get internet, but the, the signal gets really faded just on the other side of the building. So right here next to this window would be the best bet and I actually get decent connection right there so yeah that's uh, what's going on I'm going to put epoxy flooring on here I'm gonna make some epoxy paint and I'm gonna just paint the floor with that epoxy uh, floor uh, paint and uh, and make it waterproof might have to stick a little sand or something in it to uh, make it uh, less slick if when it gets wet but yeah I'm gonna put epoxy paint on the flooring I think it'd be the best thing to do instead of buying actual flooring and putting it on here, just throw some epoxy paint across there. I'm gonna put some wainscot on the walls. I'm gonna use uh, wainscot for that. And like I said, I don't know if you guys know or not, um, the electric that I'm putting in here is gonna all be from solar. I'm gonna have solar energy, about 200 watt uh, solar panels on the roof and I'm gonna have a few hundred watt uh, uh, air turbine or a windmill generator to uh, power this place up. Um, the lights that I'm putting in here will be LED lights. The LED lights will be around four to four to nine watts. So I won't have like but a few lights so it really wouldn't matter too much on the energy wise the same color that it is this primer is exactly the same color of the paint that I'm using and the trim is going to be a like a forest green there's there's what the trim color is going to be right there and here's what the paint is going to be on the outside of it so I'm just repainting it pretty much the same color as the primer the trim which is this stuff right here is what I'm going to use to put the trim on. I'm going to paint it. Um, a lot of people say that paint won't stick to tree lumber, but I'm, I've had some actually stick. I'm hoping this will, the flat paint. Normally the flat paint really doesn't have such an issue with it. But if it does, oh well, I'll just keep painting it. If it comes off, it ain't no big thing. Uh, yeah. But I just want to log in today and show you guys what's going on. Review on this will be coming up uh, probably next weekend. It's not quite ready. It's still a little green. It tastes good. The head on it is great, but I want to give you guys a, a good review, and I will tell you more about it next weekend. And y'all have a good one, and take care. Something I got, just received my order for my solar panels. Here they are. Got two of them. They're 100 watts each. Um, yeah, you hear my rooster going off in the background. Anyways, just wanted to come in and let you guys see what's going on. I got these from Windy Nation off of eBay. 
Um, shipping was quite fast. It didn't take that long, maybe three or four days after I ordered and it was already here. Uh, these things come with a 25 year warranty. Um, I'm sure the warranty has a different kind of uh, warranties. There's, there's like a warranty on parts and a warranty on the, the amount of uh, energy that it puts out, etc. But it does have like a, a maximum of 25 year warranty on it, which is pretty cool. And it's going to be great. Just a moment, I want to show you something else that I got with it as well. Those were my solar panels and all the uh, equipment that goes to the solar panels itself. But I also got an inverter, a 1500 watt inverter. Just a moment, I'll be right back. I'm back. This package comes with this 1500 watt inverter, which is a, uh, I think, a 3000 watt max uh, power output, you know, for like startup. And then it also came with all these battery cables as well. The only thing that I need to do is supply the batteries. I have a uh, battery charger, um, a charge controller in here as well. It's underneath, uh, I believe it's underneath here. I'm going to pull it out real fast to see what I got here. I'm pretty sure the charge controller is underneath this. Uh, hold on just a second. This thing's kind of heavy. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the charge controller was actually inside the uh, solar panel kit. Uh, this is what come, this is what type of charge controller I get. 30 amps, 12 volt DC, 24 volt DC auto. Um, basically, you can take and you can run your batteries in a series. You can also run these solar panels in a series. These uh, solar panels are 12 volt DC, but you can turn them into 24 volt DC by running them in a series. The same with the same with a battery. You can take a battery. A six volt battery and run it in a series and then turn it into a uh, 12 volt but I'm planning on buying some 12 volt batteries and turning them into a 24 volt series that's what my plans are getting a couple of 150 200 uh, amp hour batteries and you figure out your watts by taking the, the amount of volts and times them by the amount of amp hours and that gives you the amount of watts that you uh, your battery will actually produce and basically, I'm going to have probably around, I'm hoping to get around 1,600 to 1,800, maybe 2,000 watts of battery. And this thing, these, these, these solar panels will produce, I believe they said, up to 800 to 1,000 watts of power a day during sunlight. I'm hoping that's what I get. If not, it's still okay because I'm only running some lights, and they will be LED lights, and they only like use between 4 to 8 you know, watts watts for the uh, LED lights and the computer that I use is a laptop it's my MacBook and it only uses between 80 to 100 watts an hour so I'm not really worried about a ton of wattage being being put out I just like having extra just in case but anyways I thought I'd uh, chime in here today and let you guys know what's going on um, I do have a review for my brown L coming up and I have a review for some Kolsch coming up as well I added some honey to my colch, and, it, it, and hopefully it will be good. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Keep brewing.